Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome to a video in which I'm going to show you all of the new transfers on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Some of these I've shown you in previous videos, but uh, most of them are brand new, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the biggest ones, so pretty much all of the gold and silver transfer transfers that have happened in the latest transfer window. Uh, if you do want to see any more that I might have missed out in this video, I'll leave links in the, links in the description to all of my other transfers videos. Those will feature some of the lower rated players, uh, as well as any gold players who are missed out in this video here. Uh, if you do want to see one where I do show a lot of the bronze players and all the random players that have transferred, you can do one like that. But uh, generally, you guys, for the purposes of FIFA and uh, just for the players you're going to be interested in, you're not really going to be interested in some random 58 rated left back who plays for Coventry. However, you're probably more interested in the likes of this guy here, Seydou Dumbia, moving to Roma. So that's a very sweaty partnership you can now get with Javinho. Even though Javinho has actually gone to the Chinese league, I think. Um, so he won't be available in the next FIFA, but uh, the Chinese league isn't on FIFA 16. And I think like Ramirez, Guarín, uh, Javinho, a lot of good players have actually gone there in this transfer window. So uh, we could possibly see that on FIFA 17. But uh, yeah, Dumbia, a very sweaty striker who you can now link up with uh, Javinho. Next player is going to be Claudio Bovu, and I only heard about him today. And uh, yeah, he's actually a really awesome player on this game. One of the best cheap strikers you can actually get. And uh, yeah, now you can get a strong link to uh, the likes of Nolito, uh, also to Hernandez, uh, both of them do play for Celta Vigo, so you can make some nice cheat teams, I think Hernandez uh, is actually uh, a gold as well, and uh, he's quite low rated, so you can build some really low rated sort of gold 10k teams with the likes of them up front, he also obviously does get a strong look to Benzema, and yeah, he's a good cheap option for a, a Liga BBVA striker. Next player is Ciro, Mo Ciro Immobile, and uh, yeah, he has actually gone back to Torino, and correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he used to play that on back on FIFA 14? I believe I did a squad builder ages ago with him in. And uh, yeah, I think he's gone back to Torino. I think he was playing for Sevilla. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, he's now gone back to uh, Torino. Next player is going to be Kevin Prince Boateng. Uh, he's a really good player on this game. And he's gone to AC Milan. So you can, can link him up with the likes of Nigel de Jong. Uh, as well as uh, Balotelli and a lot of players like that. And uh, yeah, good addition to the Serie A. Next player is going to be Nordin Amrabat. All of you sweaty players out there, he is a great uh, replacement for a Barbo, who you will see later on in this video has actually transferred. And uh, yeah, he's a great replacement for a Barbo. Very sweaty striker, really, really good striker on this game actually. And I've actually got a video uh, on him coming out uh, probably quite soon. I need to get some gameplay, but uh, I've got a lot of uh, graphics and stuff done. You might have guessed that if you have watched some of my other videos, the series with my cheap players. You might be sort of uh, seeing where I'm going with that, but uh, yeah, I have got a video on him coming out quite soon. Now, the next player is Victor Obabo, who I was just talking about there, and he has now gone to the Colombian League. So, RIP Obabo, his now sort of peak of opiness, that sounded a bit wrong, but um, yeah, his peak of opiness is kind of going down now. He's gone from being very, very OP in the Serie A, less used a lot on FIFA 16. Uh, in the BPL and now I don't really think anyone's going to be using him especially since he is still a right winger and now he does play in the Colombian league I'm not sure if he's on loan there or if that is a permanent move it is, if it is a permanent move then we're unlikely to see a Barbo being uh, used nearly as much in uh, the future FIFA but hopefully he's going to come back I do like using a Barbo on FIFA 16 uh, and on FIFA 15 uh, he's actually still very good on FIFA 16 and I'm surprised not many people use him, but uh, hopefully we'll come back on FIFA 17 or in the next transfer window. The next player is Papi Miton Gigi That is the most complicated name I do believe on FIFA 16 to pronounce, at least for me anyway. And uh, yeah, he has actually gone to, I think that's Werder Bremen from Chelsea. I don't think he even plays at Chelsea. And I think he's actually got a nonce card as well, still on the game. Uh, a couple of people do have it, I think Lasty has it, and a couple of other YouTubers do have that card. And uh, yeah, he's actually got some really good stats, and he's six foot four, which is pretty crazy. Very, very good centre back, and uh, yeah, adds another good option uh, to cheap Bundesliga centre back. Next player is going to be Steven Corker. Uh, not really much change when it comes to your teams because he is still in the BPL, so it doesn't really make any difference to chemistry unless you use him in. Uh, uh, some sort of like different combination at the back because now he does play for Liverpool and uh, yeah you can link him up with the likes of Skirtle, um, Lo Moreno, Lovren, Mignolet, those sort of players there. Not that you'd really want to because none of them are that good but uh, Cork has actually got decent stats, medium high work rate, 6'3 and he's also quite quick. 
Next player is going to be Charlie Austin. And uh, yeah, he did make his debut against Man United a couple of days ago. And he did score the winner against them. Quite funny, especially since one of my friends had gone all the way to Manchester to watch that game. And uh, yeah, I did annoy him quite a bit after that. He's not really going to be used that much on FIFA 16. Uh, he's not really got the best of dribbling, pace, anything like that. But uh, if you are looking for a target man just to hit the ball up to, he could be your man. And uh, now he does get a hyperlink with the likes of Jay Rodriguez and uh, also Ward Prowse and some other players like that. The next player is Itabe, the cheap Messi, one of my favourite players on this game. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen any of my videos I have done on him, I've done some squad builders. And uh, also I did do a video on the cheap Messi and uh, that was him. But uh, yeah, he's now in the BPL playing for Bournemouth. Really, really good signing for them in my opinion, both for FIFA and real life. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using him in some BPL teams and also some hybrids in the future. Next player is John Joe Shelby and uh, he's not really going to be used by that many people. He's not got the best of stats. But uh, yeah, he's an interesting move uh, there to uh, Newcastle. I believe he actually cost 12 million, which is quite a lot for him. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can play quite well for them because he's actually quite young. He's only in his 20s. And uh, yeah, he did actually used to be quite good. I remember him scoring a very, really, really good uh, goal. I think it was for Swansea. He scored a really nice volley from like near the halfway line. But uh, yeah, he does get injured quite a lot. And uh, yeah, he, hopefully he could make a return. I think he did used to play for the England under-21s and stuff a couple of years ago so hopefully you can make a return and uh, play for England in the next couple of years. Next player is Tim Closer and he has gone from I think uh, Wolfsburg to uh, Norwich in the Premier League and that's not the first, uh, not the last Norwich signing that you are going to see in this video there are a couple more later on. He's six foot four, but he's not very quick so I doubt anyone is really going to go near him. Next player is Chris Janatsu and he's actually also got a card that's gone to Chelsea but that happened quite a long time ago and he's been featured in two videos that I have done on transfers already. But so uh, yeah, he's now gone to Malaga in the Liga BBVA. And uh, he does add a pretty interesting option there. You can link him up with Amrabat's old card that's not gone to Watford. Uh, so you can have a very, very sweaty and pasty front two if you want. You can link him up with the likes of Hakim Mastor, the five-star skiller. And uh, yeah, he's a decent player. Uh, he's not really got the best of stats other than uh, pace and dribbling. He's got decent agility and balance, I think. But uh, other than that, not really uh, too much. Uh, he's not got a four-star skills or anything like that. But uh, yeah, he's a decent player moving uh, to the Liga BBVA. And as I did say, he has got a Chelsea card as well, which is also a centre mid. Next player is Stephen Naismith. And uh, yeah, he's been a really good signing actually for Norwich. Uh, he's actually a really good player in real life, but he never really does get the game time for Everton just due to them having Lukaku, uh, De La Fea, a lot of good players, Kone, a lot of good players up front who are going to be uh, starting ahead of him. But I think he scored a hat trick this season. Uh, he got an inform for that, I do believe. And um, yeah, hopefully he'll be able to play quite well for uh, Norwich. I think he actually did score in his debut in that 5 4 game against. Uh, Liverpool and uh, yeah he's not really going to be used that much by people on FIFA especially now he has moved to Norwich there are less good players for Norwich uh, on FIFA than on Everton but you can always link him up with the likes of um, uh, the uh, five star skillers like Gary Mackay Steven also link him up with Ryan Gould he's got five star weak foot and plays for Ben Fika so you can maybe use him in some skill teams just to use him for chemistry because uh, I think Teddy actually is of the same nationality as Elianusi, who's a five-star skiller. And then you could maybe do some interesting hybrids like that. But uh, yeah, I might actually do a team uh, around him in the future. But uh, yeah, decent signing for Norwich, both for FIFA and real life. Next player is Yuramov Sisian. And uh, I've included him because he's actually a really, really good player on this game. And he has been for the past two years. He's been very, very OP and actually one of the best non-rare players uh, on FIFA. Uh, in the, yeah, as I said, the past few years, he's really strong, he's quite quick, he's got good dribbling and also very good shooting and really good long shots as well. And uh, yeah, now he has actually gone to the MLS, and uh, I have actually picked one of him uh, up and I actually recommend picking him up for just 350 coins. Uh, you can't really do that much wrong, he's gonna rise up a lot in price as well when the MLS Cup does come out in a couple of months. And uh, yeah, he's probably the best striker you can uh, get, along with the likes of Martin, he's probably the and along with Martins, he's probably uh, the best striker you can get in uh, the uh, MLS now. So MLS Cup, good investment to go and pick up. You can get him up very, very cheap. Next player is Adnan Yanazai. I believe he's the last gold player in uh, these transfers. And uh, yeah, he has gone from uh, Brizzy Dortmund back to Man United. It was only a loan. His loan was terminated, I did believe. 
And uh, yeah, he's going to be a decent player. If you're a Man United fan, you might want to use him. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, decent pace and dribbling. But uh, yeah, not really the shooting or passing I would want for a left mid. Next player is Zuccolini, and he was at City. Then he went to Middlesbrough on loan, and now he's back at City for his card that's currently in packs. And he's actually really good. He's got amazing stats there for a silver. And uh, yeah, overall, he's a really good player. In the BPL, he can get some really good links to the likes of Aguero, Otamendi, and uh, also Zabaleta, obviously, getting the hype links to them. And uh, yeah, I've actually used him on career mode, and he is really good. Uh, it would be better if he had slightly higher passing. 66 passing is not really the best for a uh, centre mid. But uh, still, he has got really, really good stats other than that. So it does sort of balance out. And uh, probably one of the best silver centre mids I've used on this game. If he did have higher passing, he would be by far the best. And uh, yeah, he's six foot tall as well. He can play defensive midfield or cam or centre mid. And uh, yeah, I definitely rec recommend picking him up if you are looking to build like a silver BPL team or something like that. And uh, yeah, he actually goes for like 10k as well. So if you do get him in a pack, remember to uh, check his price because uh, he was actually quite expensive when he did go out of packs. He went up to like 30k. He's dropped down though now to about 10k. Now the next player is going to be Ryan Donk. And uh, he is actually a really good transfer for FIFA reasons. He now gets a hyperlink to Wesley Snyder. And uh, if you've not tried Wesley Snyder on this game, which I doubt many of you will have, you will uh, be missing out because I actually used him because I got him uh, in a loan pack. And he is absolutely brilliant on this game. He's got great long shots, great passing. He's got five star weak foot. But uh, he's really hard to link up because he does play in uh, the Turkish League. However, this guy here does get a hype link to him, and he's a really good CDM as well. He's got 84 physical, 75 defending, 71 pace, and he is 6 foot 4 as well with medium high work rate. And uh, yeah, I will probably bring you guys a squad builder as well with Schneider and Donk with that hype link, along with maybe some of the 5 star skillers uh, in that league as well. I might have that to him soon in the future. The next player is Jan Kirikov. He has gone from Bayern Munich to. Um, that is Sunderland, and I don't know if it was FIFA 14 or FIFA 15, uh, but he was, uh, was a centre-back, actually, for Bayern Munich and Schalke a couple of years ago, and he was a really overpowered silver player back then. But, uh, yeah, he is now a CDM, and if he was a centre-back, he'd be really good, because he's got over 70 pace, over 70 defending, and over 72, uh, and uh, 72 physical, along with being 6 foot 5 and having low high work rates. However, he's only got 55 dribbling and 66 passing, which for CDM is not very Now, the next player is going to be Kelvin, and he is probably the most hyped player in this uh, list here, because he is a silver 5-star skiller who is Brazilian, and I think there's only him and Wellington Silver who are uh, actually silver Brazilians with 5-star skills, and um, yeah. He is uh, really, really good on this game, actually. I have used him in uh, a team uh, recently for my latest uh, goal compilation. If you haven't seen that, uh, that is uh, one of the latest videos on my channel. Go and check it out, actually, if you do want to see a nice goal compilation, because that's probably the best I have done. They've scored some really nice goals, and uh, I did score a few with Kelvin as well. And I will actually have a squad builder with that team and some of the other teams I did use in that compilation coming out pretty soon. But uh, yeah, he's gone back to Porto. He was on loan, and uh, now he can get a lot of better chemistry links to the likes of Abubakar, Christian Tello, a lion you can get a lot of good links like that and he's going to be used quite a lot i reckon because the liga portuguesa has got some really good players in it is one of the better sort of uh not standout leagues like the bbva or the bpl but he, uh, it's a really good league it's got some good hidden gems in it the next player is Wilhelmo get he is a belgian uh silver player who has actually got over 70 in all his card stats so he is uh actually known as the silver hullet by a lot of people and uh, yeah he's got some great stats six foot one high high work rates and uh, really good overall stats he has gone to uh, i think that is fc nantes in uh, the french league he was originally in the pro league and uh, yeah looks like a decent card the next player is marco fabian and uh, he has gone to untrack frankfurt from i think it was the mexican league He's got four star skills and some really nice stats, but he has actually been pulling off quite a few skills in real life. He's actually been doing a lot of McGeady spins, and he is one of the most uh, favourite players to get uh, a five star skill upgrade in the uh, winter upgrades uh, sort of window. So there is a good chance we could have another five star skill in the Bundesliga, which would be pretty cool. The next player is Mauricio Aquero. He has gone to Levante in uh, the Liga BBVA, and uh, yeah, a nice pacey silver player there. He's Colombian. 92 pace, 74 dribbling, and 4 star skills. So, uh, probably going to be quite cheap as well because he's only 71 rated and a nice addition. If you do like making League of BBVA silver team, he's a great player to have in your team. So, I hope you guys did enjoy 
this confirmed transfers video. Uh, there are a few more which have happened since I actually did record it because I'm doing this commentary after the original recording of the video. And yeah, I might do another update for uh, them in uh, another video in the future. But yeah, if you do enjoy these sort of videos, tell me in the comments down below. Smash the likes to show your support. And uh, yeah, if you do want me to do a video showing like every single transfer, even the bronze ones and stuff, I will be able to do that. But uh, just uh, for the purposes of people who play FIFA, who are generally going to be the people watching these videos. I know there will be people looking for the transfer specifically not to do with FIFA. But uh, for most of the people who do watch it, they're not really going to be interested in the bronze player. So that is why I only uh, sort of feature the best sort of players, so the gold and the silver players. So yeah, hope you guys do understand that. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash the likes and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.